Hey guys, I'm standing on top of the platform. Thought this uh, second part video would be good. Um, center console, again, all ice blue. Uh, aluminum upgrade on the trailer, but just wanted to give you a different perspective. You know, you see I'm up here. But I'm gonna come on down. And uh, let's get inside the cockpit. So we got the offset rod holders. So the reels don't knock, something we started doing years ago. You know, uh, again, little things that we do that was different from everybody else back then. So when you have 6,000 or 8,000 reels, you know, they're not knocking when you're running in a chop. You got the nice 12 inch Simrad, the low flush grab rail. I love this wheel from Gem Lux. It's nice and beefy. You know, then we got, my boat was washed detail, but got all his switches and stuff inside battery switch um, then I open up down here he wanted his batteries inside and his charger so you guys can see that then you got the removable backrest it's you take the bolt out and then he's got the huge storage in the back under the seat so he can use that as dry storage or wet storage you can put the optional tray in. He chose the pleated seat cushions, the white on white. He has the under tower light. It is directional. We like that so you can see behind you at night and also move it around to shine light. The power pole, the V Marine push pole holder. You got the little nav light. Lean bars as he'll add that later on if he chooses to when he's fishing off the beach. See Mr. Mark Page right there. Got the little jack plate in 90. And by the way, the speeds on this are gonna be, you know, realistically between 40 and 43 miles an hour. It really doesn't change much with the load. So whether you got four people or one, you're always gonna be in that realm. Oversized casting platform. We like this because two conventional anglers can get up here or you can get just one fly guy with a bucket and you can take the trolling motor off and put this in front of the hatch. This angler and customer fishes a lot by himself, so he chose that just to put the trolling motor right there instead of the guide mount on the side. He has the uh, V-Marine spools for the push-pull holders. He has the offset uh, cleat. But one of the new f features for 2020 called Black Ops. He also chose to cut the bucket out. But it's a new procedure we're doing. Makes the boat lighter without sacrificing strength or adding cost without the uber duber hype marketing that some of these builders do for materials. But he's got the JL's sound system interconnected via Bluetooth. You can see in the back, you got the storage there. He has his pickup right there and his pump and his seacock. Huge live well, different perspective guys than what we typically do. You see that right there. Again, you got the Black Ops. Inside. But just a very pretty, clean boat. Um, these boats are awesome. If you're looking for a boat to fish the beach and also fish a negative tide by yourself, and I'm going to come outside different perspective shot. See Mark in there with his head, just going through stuff. It's closing everything up. You got the front hatch, different perspective for you guys. But East Cape Evo X, y'all take care. Check us out on our website and always follow us on our social media platforms. Y'all take care. See you.